Hey everybody, it's Chase from Straight Edge Knives. I'm here at Cancet Knives with Mr. Marshall, and he's going to give us a breakdown of the company and some of the products they offer. Marshall, take it away. All right. So Cancet is a relatively new company started by Kim Ning. He was the lead designer for Kaiser Knives, and back in late 2019, he parted ways with Kaiser and began Cancet. And uh, we, he started out with his own, where the Kaiser was only making his designs. And we have the Warrior with two different blade styles. And, you know, he had the Kratos, which is their flagship knife that we have featured back there. Oh, nice. And a few other designs. And um, it kind of hit big. You know, they were the experience with Kaiser allowed them to be a step ahead of the game and uh, come out swinging, even with COVID going on. And so shortly thereafter, more employees from Kaiser left to Cancept, one of which was my rep uh, for Kaiser, and they brought me on board as a designer for them. And now I'm here representing them at the show. And, uh, you know, they have a w wide variety of offers. Me and Mikkel Willinson were some of the first designers to be brought on board with them uh again coming over from kaiser and over time they've grown to a quite substantial line of knives yes, there, yeah, there's quite a few on the table for sure. oh yes and one of the things i like about cancept is like many of the other chinese brands that follow this business model they're utilizing american and german steels bowler and crucible carpenter and uh, they're also sourcing their handle materials from around the world so you'll find fat carbon fiber in some of these it's real fat carbon fiber not some chinese knockoff you'll find uh, that they're using actual stainless damascus rather than etching it they're taking the time to do folded titanium handle scales the oil slick titanium treatment all out of the factory rather than relying on these knife modders to do it for you after the fact so some of the more popular designs we have here is of course you've got the cryo which started it all the warriors uh the helix early on you know dirk pinkerton's uh main street folder you know and then we get into like the, uh, the Convict and the Model 6, you know, the Convict from Sheepdog Knives. And then we get into some of the more modern stuff. Uh, this is the Nest Street, a newer design, very popular for them. Uh, that, that caught my eye right away. Yeah. I think a big part of it's the it's micarta. Kind of handle, a you know? And it's kind of a tactical folding Nest Muck, which the Nest Muck Bushcraft Knife has always been really popular. Uh, and then they get into a little more unusual stuff like the egress. And uh, whoop, whoop. the egress is uh, kind of a really spartan, but, you know, very interesting in design. And then you can get into some fun stuff like Kosh tools. With We've got the Corvid and the Mini Corvid. Don't have any of the Corvid XLs here. But they're just fun. You know, one of the few cleavers that aren't so overbuilt that yeah. uh, they don't hold a good edge. These actually have a nice edge geometry with a nice thin edge. Yeah, you so you that. can actually slice with these real, quite well. And they're engineered well enough. They flip well. Even these little guys. The flipper tab is fully functional. And some people with... The fuller can actually middle finger flick those. Spidey flick it? Yep. Yeah, my hands are too big for that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And then we get into some of their more premiums, like on this Reverie here, uh, Justin Linquist design with the folded titanium scales on both sides. You know, this company's not afraid to get premium and kind of creep up in there into the range where Riat's kind of ruling. You don't see a whole lot of that from the competition. Yeah. Uh, they've been doing button locks recently. This is the EDC tack on Mikkel Willemson. Uh, and uh, very smooth button lock. 
flipper or thumb stud. And then new for this show, we have the Shikari, uh, the small Shikari in a button lock. And uh, this is being debuted here. Oh, that's nice. That's so this is going to be a surprise even for those that are familiar with concept. Everybody was asking for a slightly smaller Shikari. And uh, here it is in a button lock. Oh, awesome. <laughs> that's nice. Really nice looking blade. Yep. Then we've got uh, some new stuff, like this is the uh, Colonier, and uh, nice titanium handle frame, hardened lock insert, titanium backspacer, folded titanium pocket clip, really premium low void, uh, carbon fiber scales, a nice pivot collar, and uh, just a nice design. Pops open really nice. Drop yeah. shut action. Nice. Uh, that carbon and that's this lower part of the handle. I mean, it just really has like a 3D ish effect. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I don't know if the camera will catch that really well, but it, when you're looking at it in person, it has like a three dimensional yes. look to it. Yeah. That's yep. really cool. Looking. And this one here is one that both design cues. And size, I think, is going to compete with popularity of the uh, 940 from Benchmade that oh, yeah. people obsess over. I mean, that knife made, what, for 20 years now or more? Yeah. And it's still a hot seller. Uh, this kind of ties into people that would be the fan of that. Uh, other designs that are out there, we have the Dozers. These are really popular. It's just a big sheep's foot. Deep pocket clary, pocket clips. Uh, you know, they they give you that cleaver esque style without being so bulky. Yeah. Definitely looks like a workhorse knife. Yep. And then uh, we have the in integral. This one's kind of new and sleek. I think this one was uh, hit the ball out of the park. Nice machine pocket clip. I like the uh, the slotted uh, cutout. It's a nested inlay on the uh, lock side. Nice, nice aggressive flipper. Just kind of a sleek, gentlemanly knife. Yeah. I got to say, like all the all the ones that I've handled so far before we started the video, like the actions have all been really slick. Yeah. Er really so everything's on. Cage ceramic bearings, they have um, machine steel washers for the titanium or composite side, and they actually mill a, tr a bearing track into the washer rather than just let it sit on a flat washer. So there's a lot of attention to detail paid into the, yeah. put into these knives, and it makes for a better product after yeah. all a better experience in using it. This is uh, the Fenrir. One of their newer designs, very sleek knife, and they kind of, the designer, he kind of flipped the script a little bit and made the bolster huge and the, the frame long, which is, gives it kind of an eye-catching style to it. Yeah. Pops, it's different, you know, yep. it's like, hey, it, it draws your eye to it because it's like, hey, exactly. what is that, you know? <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, yeah, nice. Fun little one that they do is the dash. Oh, yeah. That'd be a good little office carry knife right there. Exactly. And again, you got that 3D-ish looking. Yep. The fish scale carbon fiber where they cross cut the layers. Yeah. Like I'm, and in today's that, world, look. that's kind of important because there's so many companies that are just doing like Micarta or G10. And then they put a thin layer of carbon fiber over the top and sell it as carbon fiber. There's a lot of companies that aren't afraid to do that when you cross cut and you see how that carbon fish scales you know you've got carbon fiber all the way through awesome awesome man these knives are really beautiful uh, uh, definitely a, a large selection oh yeah and they offer all different styles i mean we've got they got lockbacks with the wedge these are nick swan design they've got the bevy which is a slip joint you know, they're not afraid to play around with lock mechanisms and whatnot. <coughs> We've got the FUSA, 
This is a double detent lock, or a double detent knife. There's no lock. So you can flip it open, flip it closed, oh. flip it open. This is about one of the most fidgety knives yeah, I can, yeah. on the market. You could drive somebody nuts sitting watching TV. Oh, going. My wife will not want me to have that knife. <laughs> yeah. And then they do offer a liner lock version of it. And, uh, you know, for those people that absolutely need a lock. Yeah. But that's one of the beauties of Cancept is they're always pushing the envelope. They're always coming out with different designs, experimenting with different materials. Yeah. Awesome, man. Well, hey, thank you so much for taking the time to explain that to us. And um, I learned a lot today because I, I didn't know the history behind Cancept. Yep. And so thank you for taking the time to no share problem. that with us. I greatly appreciate it. Um, you know, we, I'm going to be looking forward to picking some of these up myself to do reviews awesome. on. So thanks again, man. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Okay, this is Jason. Straight Edge Knives is out. Stay safe, stay sharp.